But hi, yeah, today is post up day. So today I didn't do really much to it. I didn't get a chance to moisturize it. This is post up day 181. If you guys are curious about my six month mark, um, be sure to head over to YouTube so you guys can see the actual live on this particular day. I have it already posted. So if you guys would like to go check that out, it is now uploaded. This is post up day 182. I washed my hair. How about you? I got a chance to actually try out one of the curl refresher products that I was talking about in my six month update on YouTube. So if you haven't checked out that video, you should definitely go check it out. Um, but anyway, I got a chance to chat, try that out. We'll see how things go with it, uh, with incorporating it into my routine. Um, as you guys can see, my hair is totally saturated and wet right now. Um, so I did make it to washing my hair on Wednesday. And of course I plan to wash my hair on Sunday so this is my wash routine um, maybe I'll do a video on how I do it for the entire week and you guys can follow along with that with also my new products I also got a chance to get back on track with my prenatal vitamin super duper excited about that I feel like that is one of the main reasons why my hair has grown so well but this is post-op day 183 So, 4C hair. I need you front and center because I need to tell you guys a good combo for moisturizing your hair. I just witnessed, instead of using the water, my girl was right. I will link her name down below thanks to you. She told me about using a hair refresher instead of using water. She was totally right. When I use this without water, I use my spray refresher on my hair and then I coated it with this particular moisturizing cream. This pairing here, you're gonna have soft, luscious, moisturized, shiny hair. It's gonna be super duper duper soft. So I can tell that I'm gonna love the way that this route is gonna go as far as moisturizing my hair. I'm excited to show you guys that combo. And if you guys would like to see a further more detail on how I care for my maintenance routine, y'all let me know in the comments. This is Post Update 184. Good morning. So I had to come on here today and let y'all know the updates. I know I told y'all last night before I went to bed, the product I used to refresh my hair. I'm telling you, this soft hair is no joke. I highly recommend you guys use those two products because I am just raving and raving about how soft my hair feels, even overnight. I would think that my hair would dry up by now and I would be back to a crusty pumpkin, but I'm not. My hair is super duper soft and I love it. That hair product combo was amazing and it is still continuing to moisturize my hair. My hair does not feel dry throughout the day, so hallelujah. God has finally answered my prayers to moisturize my hair on a continuous journey. Um, I did moisturize my hair again for today. Um, I find myself not needing as much product the second go around to keep my hair moisturized. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys I did have some sort of sore in the back of my head. I did capture it on camera and I did mention I mentioned that two days ago. But I'm just now remembering. The Y'all know how the brain works. This is post update 185. I am loving the way my hair is constantly being moisturized with the products that I use. This is post-up day 186. Well, hi guys. Today is post-up day 187 and I'm here to give you guys the updates. Of course, today was Wash Reset Sunday, so I got a chance to do that. But as y'all can see this, the definition is there. Overall conclusion of this week, I have been loving the hydration of my hair. I will post whomever's name it is and I will forever thank them of using this curl refresher. I will be mentioning her in my comments, posting her name right here. If she got something she want to share, y'all listen to her. 
because I highly, highly recommend it. Overall, I just want to say that I really have been loving the hydration of my hair. As you guys can see, I have really defined curls. I just was doing some little finger wet, like curls and then just seeing how it just like goes and it just coiled up. I don't know how things are going to be after it dries, but I'm trying a little curl method because I am going to be applying a V-part wig and I want to just try to see how I can do my leave out and everything like that ahead of time before installing it. I'm super duper excited for this V-part wig unit that is going to be installed because I am tired. I'm tired of you just wearing the a little ponytail with the headbands and stuff like that. Now I'm able to just kind of like wear my hair out freely and I really like that. Um, but this moisture game has changed so much that I, I feel really, really confident about it all. Most importantly, I'm really happy to acknowledge the fact that because I did keep the top of my hair, this is one of the main reasons why I was able to keep the top of my hair. Um, because I have this here, I'm able to overlap my hair with a V-part wig. Had I shaven all my hair off completely all over, I would not be able to overlap anything um to hide tracks or the wig or unit or whatever the case may be but other than that i don't really have anything else to say but this is post op day 187 i'm gonna pull my curls back and i will see you guys next week on post op day 188